Hey guys, what's up? Attack on Titan Chapter 59 Review. Now, this is my first Attack on Titan Chapter Review. I've been meaning to review this series for a long time now. It's been on my bucket list. It's not that it... It's not that I haven't been caught up, because I've been reading it monthly. It's just that I've never gotten the chance to review it, because honestly, I mentioned this in my manga volumes video, that these chapters, along with Berserk chapters, come out of nowhere. And I mean nowhere. The, the dates are just completely random. Or rather, with Berserk, I think they do have scheduled dates, but it's just I forget them. I think I just, like, ran into, like, that first Berserk chapter, at, like, after that year-long hiatus. I ran into that, like, randomly. But I think they have scheduled dates. I don't think there's going to be a chapter this month. Wow, I completely deviated. But just before I get into the Attack on Titan chapter review, I'm going to state right here that I'll probably make, like, a Berserk thoughts video. Maybe... It probably won't be this week or next week since I'm not going to be here next week. There won't be any videos next week because I'm probably going to have to double up reviews, which is going to fucking suck, but what are you, what are you going to do? Except for, I'm going to like double up manga chapter reviews, but I don't think I'm going to have to do that with um, Tokyo Ghoul, Akamega Kill, or Jojo. Like, I don't think I'm going to have to do that. Wow, I completely... That came out of nowhere, but... With Attack on Titan chapters, they come out of nowhere. It's like I'll be sitting there, and then I see, like, a video in my subscription that says, Okay, Attack on Titan chapter review. I'm thinking, what, dude? Where? So I just... I don't have time. I didn't have, like, time at the time. Well, that was redundant. <laughs> I didn't have the time to make a review, but I can do one now. Okay. That aside... Let's go into the review. That was, that, that was just a little announcement thing. Okay. This chapter was... I don't want to say it was simple, because we did get a lot of characterization from both Armin, John, and even Marlowe. I mean, we've seen Marlowe before, but like, it was after this chapter that I just memorized the, those two those two characters' names. So we get characterization from him as well. It's not... It's just characterization, but we get character development from Armin and John. So that's the main reason for why this chapter was actually good. Well, we did make story progression in the end because Levi and his group are about to infiltrate the central MP to get back Eren and Historia, but really, this chapter was mainly focused on character development and characterization. So it was good in that sense, and it was good that we made story progression in the end. And we also find out in the beginning of this chapter that it hasn't been the entirety of the of the military police that is a, that are planning these like fixed attacks on the Survey Corp, but it's the central military police. I'm guessing, like, Kenny Ackerman. Ac I still want to know what's up with this Ackerman stuff, but it's... I guess it's, like, Kenny Ackerman leading that faction. And as to how no one knew about him is crazy, but the central military police, apparently it's, like, it's a different faction from, like, the regular military police. Like, these two factions are not cooperating with one another, or rather, they're not communicating with one another, but it's the central military police that are planning these fixed attacks. And it wasn't until now, because even... Because we even see that, like, low-ranking, like, recruits, such as Hicks... No, not... Her name's not Hitch. What, what was it? Like, Hitch? Yeah, Hitch. And uh, Marlowe. These two are in the dark for pretty much everything. I mean, they know what happened in, like, Stohess. I think that's what it's called. With the fight between Eren and Annie. How many, many people were killed. 
but they were in the dark as to who that Titan really was. They thought Annie was just killed, but she, they just found out in this chapter that Annie was actually the female Titan, the Titan within the walls. And it was just nice to hear Annie being mentioned in a chapter since she was, like, turned into... Since she... When... Eh, fucking... Fucking shit. Since she was crystallized. I think she was mentioned, like, once. But whether or not she plays an important role in the story at this point in time, we just don't know. But it was cool to see her being mentioned. But, okay, back to the story at hand back to the chapter we see that yeah the these recruits these low-ranking soldiers are being kept in the dark of everything since jump street with a female titan annie but even I'm guessing like high-ranking officials with within the regular military police i'm not well let's just say like ranked officers i'm guessing because that guy in the military police, I'm not sure what his name is, but I'm not sure if he has a high rank or not. I don't remember, because with Attack on Chat, with Attack, I keep calling it Shiten, what the fuck? With Attack on Titan chapters, since they come out monthly, I don't really remember what happened in some chapters, so I kind of need to go back and review it. Well, not like video review it, but like refresh it in my mind. But, okay, that really doesn't matter, that guy in the beginning. We can assume that, or what... I can fucking tell at the time. I'm guessing he's like sorta high. I think he's like an officer or something. But he's being kept in the dark of this as well. Like the regulars, the regular military police, they don't know shit. They just found out about this new 3D maneuver gear, which apparently has these firearm attachments. Um, we still really don't know that that much about them, but you can assume that they're nothing to screw with. And these firearm attachments, they were not made to kill titans. They were made to kill humans, from what we can see. So, what the central military police is planning, we... Just... Just damn. I... So many questions, goddammit. It almost makes me want to read that spoiler. That, like, huge spoiler. With, like, the ending being leaked. I'm not sure if Isayama's gonna change that, but... Just so many questions, man. God uh, damn it. Whew. And let's go into Armin's character development. This was just wow. Yeah, no, best description ever, right? Wow. With Armin, that that cliffhanger that we got in last week. Not last week's, whoa, no, not even close, like last month's chapter. How it looked like John was about to get killed, because we saw like a splatter of blood. We saw the unexpected really in this chapter, because Armin killed that girl. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure about everyone else, but I did not expect Armin to take charge, like all gangster style, like, But obviously that's not good, because we've seen this from John too, and now we're just now seeing with Armin, how when they join the Survey Corps, they're, or what's the other word for it? It doesn't matter, I'm calling it Survey Corps. When they join the Survey Corps, I think like in the dub they call it like Scouting Legion or something, whatever, I'm calling it Survey Corps. When they joined the Survey Corps, they were not prepared to kill Titans. That was... To kill Titans. I was thinking about the two names, and then I started thinking about Titans. Ugh. Fuck. Forget that. No takes. Because I can't do that. Actually, I can. FYI, there might be music in the background. Maybe. Okay. But when they joined the Survey Corps, they were not prepared to kill humans. They were prepared to kill Titans to face the horror known as the Titans. But never did they expect that they had to kill humans. And Armin is just experiencing the beginning of this. 
Because we see in the beginning of the chapter, he's vomiting. He, he just can't take it. He realized that the girl actually hesitated in killing John. Like, no one wants to kill each other. Except Kenny Ackerman. But no one wants to kill, you know, other humans. Like, humans don't want to kill other humans. From the military police and survey corps alike. They don't want to kill each other. They want to, they're want they prepared to kill titans. But we see that this is taking a heavy toll on Armin. But in the end, Armin, he made the right move. Although it might not be the most morally correct uh, move to make, it was still the right move. Because it just, it would have weakened their resolve, in a sense. Because if they lost another person, I'm pretty sure that they would all just fall into despair, and they would lose their their sense of duty. So, in the end, Armin was thinking about the future. He was thinking about humanity, and that they need to keep pushing forward, because if they just keep going through this, if they lose more people, then they're going to be at a standstill. And they can't have that. They need to progress forward. They need to overthrow this monarchy and just take control. Because, and that's why this arc is important. Because I know, I've seen a lot of people comment on how they don't like this arc, how it's deviating. In a sense, it is, but it is necessary. Because before they have to take care of the rest of the Titans and find out what's in that basement, <laughs> they need to take care of what's inside the walls. So, that's why this arc is good in a sense, and we're getting character development from both Armin and John, and hopefully more characters as well. And I can honestly see more characters being killed off, such as Connie... And maybe Sasha. Sasha, I'm saying maybe because her popularity spiked when the anime came out. And I think Isayama was originally playing a killer off. Like, in the, like, way in the beginning. But her popularity just spiked. So, Potato Girl. I mean, come on, it's the Potato Girl. But I can also see more characters being killed off. Which may take a heavy toll on Armin, maybe, in a sense, because steadily we see him going through all this shit, and that, who knows, maybe he's just gonna become some dark motherfucker, because Armin, he, physically, he's not up there, he's not up there with Levi and Mikasa, of course, like, no one is, but, or really on the, he's not physically useful, but mentally, he's useful. So maybe we can see him making more, I don't want to say rash calls, but just taking charge a lot more and making just a lot more moves in a sense that will just truly benefit the Survey Corps and what they have to do. Whew, okay. So going into John as well, or Jean. Whatever the fuck you want to call him. Jean, I think. Okay. We see his character development as well. And how he always thought that Levi's methods were wrong. How he didn't... How Jean always thought that Levi was in the wrong for wanting to just kill humans in order to achieve their goal. But Jean realizes that he was being selfish. And that just having this mentality will not benefit humanity at all. It won't benefit them, their cause, and again, it won't benefit humanity. He needs to realize that next time something like this will happen, he has to shoot. But who knows? Like, again, you can never really make the right call. You, you never know if your decision was right or not. It's like with... And Levi said this before. It's like when Aaron was... It's like the original Levi group and Aaron, you know, with Petra and all those guys, with like the female Titan. Levi, 
gave Aaron like he gave Aaron like his own choice that you either attack her now or attack her later you want to attack her now or wait and you know what whatever choice Aaron made you never know if it's the right choice or not and this is almost like the same thing where Levi says to John that he doesn't know whether his choice was right or not so it was good in that sense and then of course we jump over to Hitch and Marlo and of course I stated all this before but characterization from Marlo as well how he always he wanted to just get rid of corruption that's why he joined the military police but then he obviously realized at the end that he must have joined the wrong group because the military police is in the wrong here they pretty much yeah they are it's either I wouldn't say it's not the entirety of the military police it's the central MP and also character development from Jean because he wants to make sure that Marlo is actually gonna like help their cause because he has to infiltrate the central MP convince these guys or rather distract them I'm not sure how it's gonna go down I mean we're not sure how it's gonna go down but he needs to like buy time and sense for them to rescue Aaron and Historia and John wanted to make sure that Marlo was worthy for that cause and that he'll truly benefit humanity and their cause and John realized that this guy will be perfect one for the job because he's similar to Aaron in a sense how he's well an idiot whatever <laughs> okay so that's basically for the chapter the characterization and character development was really good I enjoyed that to see Armin how he started off in the beginning of the series and how he is now how he's going through all this shit and who knows maybe he'll become mentally unstable because it's like he's going he's literally going through a war right now and we all know what happens to people who go through war even like hu like huge officers like high-ranking officials in like a military or army or anything they come back all fucked up mentally not just physically but mentally and that's what's happening with Armin here so that's realistic because no one can go through a war and come back just being mentally stable you're gonna be mentally unstable if if you go through this shit and that's what's happening with Armin right now and John as well and everyone else there mind you and it doesn't seem like it's going through that with well I'm sure it's going like the same thing is happening with Mikasa and Levi but they're not as um, they're not really out with their emotions so we really don't see that with them both Armin and Jean and you know Connie and Sasha as well because they didn't talk in the chapter but whatever but we can see that from them and it was good in that sense that's why I think this chapter was good it was a good chapter of Attack on Titan let's just say that and we made story progression in the end because they're going to infiltrate the central MP and they're gonna try to get Aaron and Historia back so it's all good in that sense and that's why I think that this was a good chapter of Attack on Titan can't wait for the next chapter we're gonna get some awesome stuff coming in I'm sure but okay that's all for this chapter review it's a good chapter and I'll see you guys later bye